वेलकम टू कैमिटोरियल चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक पीएच एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशंस तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू व्हाट इज पीएच स्केल पीएच स्केल इज अ स्केल व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू मेजर द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस सो हाउ टू राइट इट वी राइट इट पी स्मॉल एच कैपिटल इट्स एक्चुअल स्केल व्हिच टेल्स द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस सो पी स्मॉल एच कैपिटल मींस पी स्टैंड्स फॉर पोटेंस Potence is a German word which means power. P stands for potence, and H stands for H ions. Potence of H ions means the power of H ions means hydrogen ions power. More is the power of hydrogen ions in a solution, more acidic it will be. More means the strength of the acid will be more, and if the number of or the amount of H positive ions is less means the power of H positive ions is less in a solution its acidic strength is less means it will be a weak acid so we can say that ph scale is a scale which tells us about the strength of acids it also tells us the strength of the about the strength of the bases also now we know that bases contain oh negative ions so more the oh negative ions more stronger is the base less is the OH ions in a solution less is the basic strength means strong bases contain more OH negative ions and weak bases contain less number of OH negative ions similarly strong acids have more H positive ions and weak acids have less number of H positive ions now come to neutral solutions you know that for a neutral solution the number of H positive and OH negative ions is equal neutral solutions are those solutions which are neither acidic nor basic they contain both h positive as well as oh negative ions but in equal amount so on the whole the solution is neutral and its ph value is 7 so this ph value is actually measured by a scale which is called ph scale the range of the ph scale varies from 0 to 14 so 0 to 7 is the range for the acidic solutions and from 7 to 14 is the range for the basic solutions the neutral solutions they have ph value 7 so here on the left side extreme left means solutions which have ph value is equal to 0 to 1 or 2 range 0 to 2 are very strong acids as the value of the ph increases up till 7 the acidic strength will become less and less means here near about 7 we have weak acids then at 7 we have neutral solution and as the further the value of the ph scale increases ph value increases above 7 the solution becomes basic up till 8 and 9 values ph values 8 or 9 the base is having less basic strength it's a weak base when the ph value further increases up till 14 so near 14 means after 12 13 14 there are strong bases here at the, this corner there are strong bases and here near about 0 to 2 there are strong acids and at the middle when the ph is near about 7 we have neutral solutions so ph scale is a scale having range from 0 to 14 0 to 7 acidic 7 to 14 basic 7 are the neutral solutions i told you that in neutral solutions the number of h oh negative ions is equal now the question arises we this we already know that acids have h positive ions basic basic solutions have oh negative ions but the question arises whether the acids also have oh negative ions or bases do they also have h positive ions yes of course acids along with the h positive ions they also possess oh negative ions and basic basic solutions or bases along with the oh negative ions also possess h positive ions now why are they basic and why are they acidic if they have both kind of ions acids are acidic because the number of the h positive ions is more than the number of oh negative ions similarly bases show basic character 
because the number of OH negative ions called hydroxyl ions is more as compared to H positive ions called hydrogen ions. And I told you that neutral solutions have both the ions in equal amount. So this is pH scale, pH range, pH values. Now I would like to tell you how to measure it. So I, for that I am going to show you a pH scale which is having varying shades and from the shades we can come to know what is the pH value of the solution. See this is pH paper and this is a pH scale. The value is varying from 2 to 14. So this is pH 2 shown by a red color followed by 4, orange color then yellowish, 6 this is neutral for neutral. This green color is for the neutral solutions and then the basic strength increases from 7 to 14 here it is for the basic solution these are the colors for the basic solutions and from 2 to 7 these are for the acidic solutions here this is uh, red color is for the strong acids and this dark blue is for the strong base and this 7 it is for the neutral so now i am showing you this st few strips i have taken uh, ph strips from this pH papers I have taken and I have dipped uh, uh, pH in a solution. So you can see that it, its color is matching with pH value 2. So that means the solution that in which this strip, strip was dipped is acidic in nature and its pH value is 2. The solution that I take uh, that I took it was uh, lemon juice. So you can see from the color that pH of the lemon juice is now I have taken one more step and I have dipped in detergent solution and you can see that the color of the pH strip it changes to blue which is matching with pH 14. So you can see that this detergent solution is basic in nature it is a strong base. Now I have taken one more strip pH strip and I have dipped in water and you can see that the color of the strip has become it is matching with this so you can see that the pH of the water is 7. So this is an activity showing how to determine the strength of acids and basics bases from this pH scale. So now let us do the applications of the pH in daily life. So in daily life you know that our blood, our blood has a pH range from 7 to 7.8. Our body works within a very narrow range of pH and that range is 7 to 7.8 pH. So this is the range for our body or human blood is having this much of pH. Now coming to second application you know that when it rains in the polluted cities, there are lots of gases, emissions from the factories, industries. They get dissolved in the rainwater and when such type of rainwater falls into the water bodies, it makes the, it, the rain, it makes the river bodies or the water bodies acidic in nature. So such type of acid rain is harmful for the aquatic life. So that means acid rain is that rain which has pH value less than 5.6. So such type of rain is harmful for the aquatic life. Now if we know the pH of our garden soil, we can come to know whether the plants will have a healthy growth in it or not. Actually the pH range of the soil should be between 6 to 7 for the plant to grow healthier. If the pH of the garden soil is less than 6, it is acidic in nature. So its acidic nature has to be neutralized by adding something basic like calcium carbonate or limestone or magnesium carbonate into it so that plants can lead a healthier life. Now pH is also used in our stomach. You know that there is hydrochloric acid present in our stomach. 
which helps in digestion. But what happens if there is excessive release of hydrochloric acid in the stomach? We suffer from acidity. We feel pain in the stomach, irritation in the stomach. So when we feel uneasy, so we have to neutralize this excess acid by using a form of medicines called antacids. Antacids are the medicines which are mild bases containing magnesium hydroxide which is also called milk of magnesia. No doubt metal hydrogen carbonates like sodium hydrogen carbonate which are present in medicines like eno are also used but metal, hy metal hydroxides are like magnesium hydroxide these are better antacids as compared to hydrogen carbonates. So this is the use of pH in our stomach. Now pH knowing the value of the pH we can also prevent tooth decay. Actually there are lo lots of bacteria which are living inside our mouth. When there are leftover food particles inside our mouth the bacteria present in the mouth they act on the leftover food particles and they release acids. These acids are corrosive enough to corrode the tooth enamel which is made up of calcium hydroxyapatite. So when this enamel is corroded cavities are created in our teeth tooth decay starts. This happens when the pH of the mouth lowers by 5.5. So to neutralize the acid in the mouth which is released by bacteria we have to use some form of basic substances to neutralize it so toothpaste are a form of mild bases which are mild soaps also which neutralize the acid released by the bacteria in our mouth and keeps the mouth fresh and the last application that we should see in the daily life is pH in self-defense by a few plants and animals. So there are few plants which have stingy leaves like nettle plant. So the nettle plant it has stings on it which when touched cause irritation on our hands. This is because the nettle sting has a methanoic acid into it. It injects that methanoic acid into our skin which causes irritation and pain to us. Similarly few animals like honeybees ants they sting us when they bite us they inject methanoic acid into our skin methanoic acid is also called formic acid which makes our skin red swollen irritation is caused so for that we have to neutralize this acid released by the honeybee or ant we can rub it we can wash it with uh, some wild basis so that is to neutralize it and get relief from the pain. Now I would like to tell you few naturally occurring acids present in our food items and other plants. Vinegar contains acetic acid, orange has citric acid, tamarind, tartaric acid, spinach, oxalic acid, lemon contains citric acid, tomato, oxalic acid, curd has lactic acid, green pepper, ascorbic acid, apple, malic acid and guava contains a mixture of ascorbic acid and citric acid. Thank you for sparing your precious time to watch our video. Like our video, share it, comment it, subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.